Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? It is Super Bowl Sunday. Woohoo! Are y'all watching the Super Bowl this evening? It doesn't come on here. Uh, it's Central Time till 5:30, so that's kind of late in the evening. Uh, so me and my husband, we're gonna just sit here and watch it ourselves by ourselves. I thought I was gonna go to my daughter's house, but um, I, she hasn't really called or anything. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, I texted her a few times. Nobody answered. So I'm like, okay, fine. I have all our goodies ready to prepare. I'm going to do um, chicken wings, little cocktail sausages, jalapeno poppers, boiled shrimp. We have all these finger foods to eat. So I'm on keto. I'm doing the keto diet. So those are perfect for keto. And I got this barbecue sauce that was zero uh, sugar. So I can put the, you know, the wings in that barbecue sauce. So I think it's going to be all right. I'm going to be able to eat and not worry about my calories. I got chips and dips and carrot sticks and all that for my husband, you know, a little extra things for him that I wouldn't be able to eat, but that's okay. I'll, ha I'll eat plenty. I already made some jalapeno poppers this morning. You know, jalapeno poppers can be for breakfast because they're bacon. So I made some this morning already. So I've already had like three... Uh, jalapeno poppers. <laughs> I use a half a slice of bacon and, and wrap it up. I used to wrap it with a whole bacon, but it was so much. So I do half a slice. They're so good, y'all. So delicious. It's like you're cheating on your diet, you know? And I I get this Atkins little, it looks like a little turtle ca uh, candy. It's two carbs and it's zero sugar. Those things are a miracle. They are so tasty. I can eat one of those and just feel like, you know, I'm cheating. It feels so good. I, I, I'm fine. I'm doing great. <laughs> so who are you rooting for? I am going to root for the Chiefs. I did, a, I did a reading this morning for somebody and I called them the Indians. <laughs> and I was like, that doesn't sound right. I don't watch that much football, but... If, you know, Hughes, if, uh, you know, our, our team from Texas is playing the Texans or uh, Dallas Cowboys or something like that, we'll watch the, you know, we'll watch the football game. So we watched the Chiefs just totally rip the Texans apart. And I was, wow, astounded at how fast those guys are. They have got some really fast guys that uh, can run with that ball. You know, they were impressive. And my best friend lives in Kansas City. So, you know, of course, she was like, we won, you know, because it was the Texans against Kansas City. I'm like, oh, she got me. She got me there. But uh, they played so well. It, they played so well. So I'm looking forward to the game. And I am I think the Chiefs are going to win now. I Like I said, I don't know that much about um, football, but I feel like, I feel like the Chiefs are going to win. So my money is with the Chiefs. Uh, good luck to all of y'all. If you have bets on the game, I hope you all win. Make some money. Let's take a look at Trump. I have I have some cards laid out, um, some questions asked for Trump. You know, I want to, I just wondering, how is he feeling right now? How's he feeling? Because he's got to do that, you know, um, he's got to do that address, you know, that un, that State of the Union address. He has to do that before they vote, which I guess, you know, Mitch McConnell's telling him your ass is covered. It's going to be OK, but he doesn't 100 percent know that. But, you know, it's basically in. We all know that. But how does he feel about it? And, you know, when I was asking these questions, I got this um, really weird vision of Trump walking away and it's like raining gold flakes. So it's really weird. It's like raining gold. I don't know. Or gold snowflakes or something like gold, you know? Um, oh, well, looks like he's walking away a winner. Maybe that's what that means. He's walking away a winner. Hmm. Well, comment down below and let me let me know what you think that means. <laughs> if I could think of something really rotten about it. But uh Okay, so let's see how, how is Trump feeling now, today? What's going on with him? How's he feeling? First card that I get is Ten of Pentacles. Um, of course, that turd comes out smelling like a rose. And, you know, things are actually turning out 
pretty good for him. And it's better than he expected, basically. That's what this means. So he didn't even think it was going to be this good. You know, he was, I guess, he was trying to do all these things and it was, you know, hide everything. And uh, he was able to do it. I don't know how he was able to do it. It's just remarkable um, of the stuff that Trump gets away with. It's just remarkable. It really is. Okay. So uh, the next card is the chariot. I said 10 of pentacles. That was nine of pentacles. Sorry. I think I said 10. Um, the chariot. But you know what this is? Overcoming difficulties. So he feels like, you know, he... Uh, He's, a, he's got this in the bag, really. That's what he feels like. He thinks he has control over the Republicans. And, you know, I guess he does. He's overcoming his difficulties and he knows it. So this is Trump, you know, the fix is in for Trump and he's feeling good about it. Basically, that's what it means. And look, and now I said 10 of pentacles because he has the nine and the 10 of pentacles. And I was looking at it. Man. This guy is, he's feeling fantastic, y'all. That's all there is to it. He's very, he's feeling like vindicated, successful. He's loving it. He's just completely loving it. And I guess him and his family are, you know, having a great time. That's, I mean, it stinks. It stinks to know that, but that's the truth of it, y'all. That is the truth. He feels vindicated and he's, you know, they're, they're happy and celebrating and they're having a good old time. So he gets really good cards. So he's feeling pretty good, y'all. He's feeling um, he's feeling strong, happy, and you know, like this is in the bag for him. So you know, I wonder if um, I wonder how he'll do it. The while he's doing the address, you know, if he's gonna mess up and say something during the State of the Union address, is he gonna boast? Is he gonna? You know, what's going to happen? So I'm going to take a look at that. So the first card I get on that one is the Four of Cups. So this tells me he really doesn't want to do this address at this time. He doesn't want to do it. Uh, he didn't want to do it before the vote. You know, he's not happy about that. He's really not. But he has to do it, I guess. He don't get any, you know, it is when it is. So he's got to do it. This is the Page of Swords. Um... I, this is about communication. I think he's going to stick to the message. He's going to read the teleprompter. You know, um, I feel like he'll be a little bit on guard. So he's going to stick to the message. That's what I think. So I don't feel like, I don't think he's going to go off and boast and say things, you know, I wish he would make, I wish he would make a fool of himself, but I don't think he is. Uh, the wheel of fortune. Yeah. His fortune is changing. Change is coming karma will catch up with trump i know we've been waiting and waiting and waiting to see it but you know his fortune is changing don't look like it but uh just wait till till the vote in november and then i think we'll see his fortune changing then i for one can't wait i can't wait i know y'all can't either you guys it is the most beautiful day here today it is absolutely gorgeous it's like uh, about 1 30 in the afternoon it's 72 degrees. The sun is shining. It is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like we're having spring already here. It's gorgeous. My husband's outside mowing the grass, so that's how nice it is. And, and my doors are open. Dogs can go in and out. They're perfect. My daughter uh, left to go on a trip. She went to the beach. We live, um, you know, Corpus Christi is not too far down, a couple hours away, and she went to the beach. And the dogs don't know what to do without her. They keep coming to me and just putting their head on my lap and looking at me. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? You know, I fed you. I've taken you out. I play with you. But they're just like unhappy because she's not here and she never came home. Uh, they slept in her bed and she wasn't there. So they're like mourning for her. <laughs> they won't leave me alone. I hope she comes home soon. She's supposed to come home today. Okay, so I'm going to, the next question I'm going to ask is, um, will Trump be censured? You know, they could censure him, and they should. They should at least do that so that he doesn't think he can keep doing those kind of things. They know it's wrong, so that's the least they could do, you know, but will they do that? The first card is the hanged man. 
There's some, there's some of them that are thinking about it. There are. There's some that would like to do that and that are thinking about it. Uh, the next card is Ace of Pentacles. Um, the senators that are up for re-election know that they won't get their financial backing if they don't play along with, you know, Trump and uh, uh, McConnell's plan. You know, so that's, that's the truth. That's the truth of it. So it doesn't look like they'll censure him. And the outcome is the Queen of Wands. They just want to get this done, y'all. That's all. They want to get it over with as soon as possible. They want to just get the hell out of there. So I, I don't feel like they're going to do anything. They're not going to try to make any waves or anything. They just want to get out. They want to go. They want to get out. So uh, Trump's the king. He is the king. Uh, and Moscow Mitch is his bitch. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> but, it, you know, if it fits... It fits right okay anyway so uh, that's my reading for this afternoon I'm just doing a quick little reading I just wanted to say hi you guys and have fun you know watching the commercials <laughs> that's what I like to watch the game for I like to see all the you know Super Bowl commercials they're they're fun and you know everybody's usually we have our family together this is probably one of the first times we're not together and everybody's talking. We're like, shut up. There's a commercial on. <laughs> you know, usually everybody talks over the commercial. But be quiet. There's a commercial. We want to see it. So we'll be looking for some fun commercials. Anyway, you guys have a great time. Enjoy the day with your family. Love you so much. If you'd like to get a reading with me, just look below. Uh, I'm doing several, any kind of style reading you would like. I can do the Celtic Cross. I can do a love reading. Uh, I can just answer questions. And you know, some people, I've had a few people ask me, because I limit it to three questions. You can do three questions, and I will concentrate on them and do three cards for each question. And it's really good. It's in-depth and good. And it lasts just as long as the Celtic Cross, between 16 to 20 minutes and sometimes longer. Uh, I've been asked by a couple of people now to do six questions. So if you'd like to do that, I can do six questions. It'll be $50. Three questions are $25. So whatever you'd like, just let me know. Email me and let me know. If this is the first time that you've watched my channel, welcome. New subscribers, uh, hit the bell to be notified of the next one. Uh, like my video so it'll go out there to the newbies. And y'all have a wonderful day. Okay? Thank you so much. Love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.